Hello, this is professional investor David Campbell, and welcome to the Hassle Free Cash Flow Minute. Today's lesson is understanding the math behind interest rate. As an investor, I like to teach that if you do the math, the math will tell you what to do. So basically, all of us to be successful investors need to have a very strong math background and the, the different algebra formulas that will make us successful as an investor. Uh, the basic formula is interest, the amount of interest that you would receive on a loan or pay on a loan, depending on whether you're a borrower or lender, is calculated at some type of a rate times the amount borrowed or the capital. That rate is usually expressed as an annual interest rate, but later we'll talk about how to calculate prorated interest on a daily basis. You can also move that formula around, you know, typical A uh, times B equals C type of algebra formula. You can manipulate that to say the interest rate equals the amount of interest paid divided by the outstanding principal or the outstanding capital. You can also say the capital equals the interest divided by the rate. Uh, it's important to be able to manipulate this formula in lots of different ways if you're trying to figure out, um, for example, if you're a borrower, you want to know how much interest am I going to pay. If you are a lender and you're trying to hit a particular um, income, uh, on a monthly basis, then you need to figure out what type of rate is a minimum rate for you to to, uh, to cover. And if you're uh, trying to figure out, I know I can lend at say 10% and I need to make uh, a certain amount of money per um, year or per month, well then how much money do I need to invest? What's the capital I need to invest to be able to achieve that type of a monthly earnings? So let's do a little case study. Uh, in this particular case, if we know the interest is a hundred, uh, I'm sorry, the interest rate is ten percent, and we know that the amount of capital is a thousand dollars, then the annual amount of interest paid would be a hundred dollars. Right, pretty simple. Uh, if we are looking at figuring out what the rate is, and we know the interest, and we know the capital, right? Sometimes the interest could be just assumed. I want to make a hundred dollars and I have a thousand dollars, then what rate of return do I need to generate? And that's how you would use this particular formula. Um, using this example, we understand what the uh, amount of interest is and we understand what the rate is, but we have to figure out how much principal we need to achieve this. This is a really good formula if you are working with uh, a, a monthly budget and you say I need to achieve in this particular case just for simplicity I need to achieve a hundred dollars a year of income and I have investment opportunities that will pay me 10 percent how much money do I need to invest in order to get the hundred dollars per year that I need in this particular case you would solve backwards uh, the interest divided by rate and you would get a thousand dollars Right. If we're trying to calculate prorated interest, meaning we're taking a year and we're only using a fraction of a year or number of days to uh, to calculate interest, then we need to, to change the rate annual rate into a daily rate. So to solve for daily interest rate, you take the annual rate, you know, for example, whatever it is, and then you divide by the number of days in the year. Borrowers like to prorate using 365 days and lenders like to prorate using 360 days. Uh, the difference is because the borrower wants a lower rate and the lender wants a higher daily rate. And so they each have a conflict of interest on in how they calculate the uh, rate. A borrower is going to use the number of days in a year, 365. A lender will often use 30 days in a particular month and so they'll say well you've had 10 months and uh, and five days and so they're gonna say 10 months times 30 which is 305 days which is 305 uh, it really just depends on what your motivation is on, on calculating rate uh, which method you, you choose to use both both are uh, acceptable in the industry so let's say we're trying to calculate prorated interest and you use that previous formula. We're trying, we use 10% as an annual rate. We divided that by 360 uh, days and we got 0.0277% per day. And let's say our, our loan was out for 108 days and the loan was $100,000. Then we've got uh, 2,991 
dollars and sixty cents as prorated interest. So we've taken the annual rate to a daily rate, and this is how we calculate the interest. This is professional investor David Campbell, and I really encourage you to sign up for my free real estate investor education newsletter by visiting my website at hasslefreecashflowinvesting.com.